Konnichiwa and welcome to Sumo Prime Time. I'm Hiro Morita. It's day two of the July tournament. As you know, the competition in July always takes place right here in Nagoya. So let's go take a peek inside the Dolphins Arena to see what the place has to offer. Sumo Prime Time. Upon entry to the arena, Fans stop by at the trophy case to check out the hardware the top division champion and special prize winners receive at the end of the competition. Look! Nagoya's famous mythical creature, the golden Shachihoko. It's very eye-catching. In Japan, Tanabata Star Festival takes place in July. It is customary to write your wishes on a piece of paper and hang them on bamboo trees. Doing so, it is said that your wishes come true. Oh, here's Yokozuna Tenofuji's wishes. It says he wants to compete for 15 days without any injuries. The top division rookie, Hakuoho, he says he will do his best for 15 days. Look at Hosho Ryu's wishes right there. It says he wants to win his first top division championship. You show Hoshori. Let's hope all the wrestlers' wishes come true. One former top division wrestler is particularly busy offering assistance to people in the arena. He is also very popular. Look who I found in the arena. Kumagate ni Oyakata wa former Tamaska, Sumo Prime, Prime time. time. He is from Nagoya. Yes. <laughs> Wherever the tournament is held, checking out sumo souvenirs is always fun. Hmm, very interesting. Oh, the Fuji dolls. Oh. Some souvenirs are only available here at the Nagoya Basho, and this is a coaster with a print of the latest official listing of ranks, Banzuke, for the July tournament. Mm. Oh, this is also a dohyo or the ring. Sumo prime time! Now it's time to check out the bouts from day two. The top division rookie trio of Hakuoho, Shonan no Umi, and Gono Yama were all victorious on the opening day. Let's see how they did on day two. A great charge by Hakuoho. Gets the lift in, in, stays tight, goes after Kagayaki, and Kagayaki has no answer. Haku Oho goes to 2 0 with a brilliant sumo. And Haku Oho drops his hips and has little trouble dispatching Kagayaki. Haku Oho goes to 2 0. The Shinyu Maku Ruki is looking very good. It's Shona no Umi taking on Takara Fuji. They lock up immediately, Takara Fuji advances, Takara Fuji has his go-to weapon, but the left hand inside. And look at the kote nage by Shona no Umi, a come from behind victory by the rookie, and Shona no Umi goes to 2 and 0. Oh. Alright, here is the third Shinyu Maku rookie we're featuring today, and that's Gono Yama on the right. He meets Chio Shoma from Mongolia. Gonoyama taken backwards by Chuo Shoma. Chuo Shoma with a good charge, but Gonoyama replies. Gonoyama advances. Gonoyama thrusts Chuo Shoma down. A strong thrusting attack by Gonoyama, and Chuo Shoma goes down with his hand. And Gonoyama wins for the second straight day. So after two days, all three Shinyumaku rookies in the top division. Gonoyama, Shona no Umi, and Haku Oho are all winners. Ozubo, Nagoya Basho. 
Now, moving on to the three Sekiwake combatants who are all vying for promotion to Ozeki. They are Hosho Ryu, Wakamoto Haru, and Dai Eisho, and they all won on the opening day yesterday. Let's see how the Sekiwake trio did on day two. First Sekiwake to fight today is Hosho Ryu. He's up against Shodai. Spirited Kajai by Ho Shou Ryu. Ho Shou Ryu keeps up the pressure with his relentless charge and Shodai backpedals and has no reply. Ho Shou Ryu overwhelms Shodai to go 2 and 0. Another magnificent sumo by Ho Shou Ryu. Wakamoto Haru took on Tobizaru. The Flying Monkey. Wakamoto Haru is able to catch Tobizaru. Tobizaru unable to use his speed. Tobizaru back there also stays alive. Wakamoto Haru gains an inside position with the left, right hand, the lethal weapon on Wakamoto Haru. And Wakamoto Haru forces Tobizaru back and out. And Wakamoto Haru flexes his muscles to go 2 and 0. Oh. Now here is Dai A Show pacing off against former Ozeki Mitake Umi. Sharp charge by Dai A Show. Dai A Show pounding away. Dai A Show knocking Mitake Umi back, and Mitake Umi is finished by Dai A Show in a hurry. All three Sekiwake combatants are off to a perfect start. Each man with two. And oh, record. Finally, Yokozuna Terunofuji. He won convincingly on day one yesterday. On day two, he took on Nishikigi. He lock up immediately at the center of the dojo. Nishikigi gets a double inside and he throws Terunofuji with the inside from the left. And Terunofuji bites the dust on the second day. And Nishikigi picks up his second gold star victory of his career. Nishikigi upsets Yokozuna Teruno Fuji on day two of the Nagoya Basho. And Teruno Fuji is one and one after two days. All right, that's going to do it for day two of the July tournament. Once again, great matches across the board, and we expect that to be the case again on day three tomorrow. And speaking of tomorrow, we'll be back to bring you the day three coverage. So please join us again for another edition of Sumo Primetime. I'm Hiro Morita. Arigato for watching and... Sayonara! Hey, thanks for watching Sumo Primetime. If you're enjoying our channel, Make sure and click and subscribe and check out all of our contents.